Then they come spirit of that contentment. This made me feel good <laughs> to know that I had helped somebody. After lunch, Ralph laid down for a nap, looking like a stuffed happy hog. <laughs> and I went down to AD's room and we called Mother dear. Mother, you know, Mother dear was always so happy when AD and I were together. Uh, around uh, 4 p.m., I phoned Ralph and woke him up. He had gotten word that for dinner, we were all going to Reverend Samuel Kyle's home. And one thing about Sam, he knew how to entertain a house guest. <laughs> the menu included prime rib roast, chitlin, greens, black-eyed peas, and pig's feet. Oh, my favorite food. Around 5.30 p.m., cows arrived, announcing to us it was time to go. He comes, Dr. King, as Reverend Samuel Kyle's entrance. All right, everybody, let's go. I know you're hungry. I knew you wasn't going to be ready. You're going to be late to your own funeral. Kyle, how you doing? I'll be ready in a minute. Ralph, Carl's is here. Who let you in? Well, the door was unlocked, so I just walked in. What's Ralph doing? I didn't know that door was unlocked. King, you lock it? King, what? Oh, uh, Ralph's in the bathroom. What's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. I just don't like the door being open for anybody to walk in here. King, you're taking those threats too seriously now. <laughs> oh, come on, man. That's not bothering me after all these years. King, you know as well as I. Let's change the subject, all right? Carl's, I picked out this tie for tonight. Does it look okay? It looks fine to me. Hmm. Let me ask Ralph. I'd better wait. Ralph is the best name with a catfish up in there. Man, you're the craziest. <laughs> when the farm the craziest, you must be crazy. They playfully box around the table. Well, if that is true, I am no more crazy than you. Come on, man. Float like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. Your hand can't hit, but your eyes can't see. Hey, hold on. Not so rough. You win. I'm sorry, Carl. I didn't mean to get carried away. You all right? I'm fine. Ralph tells me you've gotten all my favorite foods cooked up. After that speech you gave at the temple last night, I decided to go all out. Thank you very kindly. I felt that speech went very, quite well myself. God, all I ask from you is that you don't serve me no cold food. I went to another preacher's house for dinner, and he served me ham and Kool-Aid. Cold ham at that. Are you sure my tie looks okay? Perfect as always. Thanks. King, I almost forgot to tell you. I had Belafonte over for dinner. Oh. How is that? He's doing fine. I tried to get him to sing that banana song. You know, the one that goes, Dale, Dale, daylight coming, we want to go home. Oh, so now you got folks singing for their supper, huh? I think I'll buy passion singing tonight. Why? You saying I can't sing? No, that's not what I'm saying. Besides, we've already got an entertainment tonight. Who? Uh, Sammy Davis Jr.? No, not Sammy Davis. Jesse's band is playing at the meeting after dinner. Oh, that's right. You know, Kyle, I had a run-in with young Jackson about this campaign. I know. I heard. He's a real promising leader, King. Don't you think I know? I was not ready for him that day. His timing was bad. Hey, I understand. King, if you don't hurry up, your food will be all cold. You know, I think my watch stopped. King! King! What? Time to go! Well, I'm ready. Uh, let's go. Uh, wait a minute. What is it now? He points towards same space entrance. I forgot all about him. Well, aren't you ready yet? Let's go. Well, Carl and I will be out here on the balcony. That's a good idea, because I don't want to be in this room when he opens that door. <laughs> I'm the first one out. <laughs> I, I need to call the house. And let them know we're coming. Oh, and keep that slide door open, King, so some air can get in here. Man, you're the craziest. Lost the ticket. Uh, Jack.
Jesse, I want you to come with us to dinner this evening. And be sure to dress up a little tonight, Jesse. No blue jeans, all right? Gunshot. Hmm. King entered a pool of life. Become spirit of king. struggle was ended. My dream became a nightmare. But at last, I was free. If any of you are around, when I have to meet my day, tell them not to talk too long. I'd like somebody to mention that day that Martin Luther King Jr. tried to give his life serving others. I'd like somebody to say that day that Martin Luther King Jr. tried to love somebody. I won't have any money to leave behind. I won't have the fine and luxurious things of life to leave behind, but I just want to leave a committed life behind. A life of a man who struggled to make peace on earth. Then my living would not be in vain. If I can help somebody as I travel on, then my living shall not be in vain. Then my living shall not be in vain. Then my living shall not be in vain. If I so
cameras. Right. My wife was in the audience. Amazon, tell them to go to Amazon and get a copy. Amazon, Come get your copy. Yes. Yes. Peacemaker. Amazon. Yes. Amazon. Yes. Amazon, Amazon. Peacemaker of our own penis. <laughs> and that's y'all show. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Yeah. Email me, let me know how you liked it. Let me know if you want some more uh, steady reading. And we got a lot of stuff doing. So this year is going to be busy. Yeah, we we'll come to you. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so let me take the motor off. The, the Amsterdam News wants some pictures, some stills. Ashley, can you get some pictures? Some I, pictures. I got a couple of pictures. I'll okay, get some pictures. Of, she wants some action shots for, for the paper that's coming out, okay? Yes. I should have a press release and she told me to send her I got some good action, action shots. Action. You got some good action shots? I got some good live. If anybody hey, everybody stand in Tabo. No, everybody stand up. I'm going to take a picture. Come on, Mr. Stand up. I'll stand up and take a picture. Come down, Ashley. I'm going to get the side of the sister, guys. I got to grab one of mine. Hey! Let's find a space, you know, COVID's distance. <laughs> COVID distance, right? You know, find your own space, COVID distance. Come on, here. You got my wife, buddy. She said, I want to read. I want to read. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I'm going to do that. You got it? You got it? Good guys? Put, yeah, put your mask on there, Ambassador. Come on. <laughs> Yeah. That's good. That's the reality of theater 2020. Put your mask on with your mask. Give her a mask, somebody. Give her a mask. Who needs a mask? Give your, 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 your guest. Make sure you sing. Make sure everybody sing. Everybody smile. Yeah. <laughs> you can't tell. Right. You can't tell. <laughs> you can tell it in the eyes. You can tell it in the eyes. The eyes are telling. Oh, okay. I'm sure I thought that. The eyes are telling. Yeah. You're right about that. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.